Hiya, this is the first vid for the first lesson of the modulus functions pack. Uh, it's about three lessons, lesson one, lesson two, lesson three. Uh, it's quite nice this one, not like the other um, functions and stuff that we're doing. This is quite nice. So the idea of modulus is it ignores the sign, it makes it positive. So it says it's a positive numerical value. It's absolute value, it's absolute distance from zero. So the modulus of minus six is just six. And the modulus of six is just six. Do you see if we can get it up on a calc? Because it's only calculator. So I'll do menu one. Uh, and I want to do option. Oh, I can't find it now. Numeric abs. So option numeric abs. So if I put minus six in there, it returns 6. If I put 6 in there, it returns 6. So it's option, uh, numeric, which you probably have to press F6 for to get to, and then abs. And that's the same option numeric abs as when you're graphing as well on the menu two. So, that fine. Right, so it's dead simple. It's quite nice, this. So it says, so look at what's inside the modulus sign. Any negative value becomes positive. Any positive value stays positive. So sketching functions. So it says, uh, so below is the graph of y equals f of x. Any negative values inside the modulus sign become positive. So essentially, I reflect them. So I reflect anything below the x-axis in the x-axis. So anything below gets reflected. So let's have a little look then. Uh, so where have we got? So I'm going to have... So the one there is... Minus one there is going to be 5. That point going up there is going to be fine, uh, but I'm going to have like a little bubble between four and seven because that's been flipped over, and then that bit's fine. Now I've got to be careful with how I draw this part because it was going like that. So when I reflect it, it goes like that. Oops, it goes like that. So you got to be careful that it looks like these are curves here. If you do it as a straight line, you lose a mark. Uh, so that 5 has stayed the same. That 1, 6 has stayed the same. But this minimum point at 5 minus 3 has become 5, 3. Right, let's see if we can graph it on the calculators. Because we know we know the roots, don't we? So then, you know, in reality, I guess we know the, uh, the factors. So I've got an x plus 1, uh, an x minus 4, and then x minus 7. Now it would actually, I think these numbers have just kind of been made up. Um, because that would give us, the, the when it crosses the y-axis, it would be like plus 28. So to scale it down, I'd have to do 5 over 28, lots of it, to make it look exactly the same. Should we try that? Because it would have been, so that would have been, let's find out would have been a 28. So I want it as a 5, so I'm going to do 5 over 28. So that's my dodgy function. I'm just going to pause and I'm going to graph it on my calculator and then I'll restart again. Right, back on it. So I've graphed it, the thing I'll show you, the 5 over 28, so I definitely did it. I just set my y between minus 10 and 10 and my x between minus 5 and 10. So now I'm going to do the modulus of it. So same idea, I'm going to do um, option, numeric, abs, and I could write out the whole equation, but I'm just going to get it for y1. So I'm going to press f1 for y, and then a 1 in there. And that should graph the modulus function. There you go. How nice is that? So you can cheat a little bit with it, which is quite nice. Right, so anyway, so we graphed it. We've wasted nearly five minutes, and all we do is graph it. Yeah. So the next one says, do a graph of the modulus of x. So if I was doing this without the calculator, I know that y equals x looks like looks like that. And then anything that which is below the x-axis 
is revolved over, is rotate, is uh, reflected. So what I get is a V shape. Once again, you can graph it on your calculator. So if I do, oops, exit, I'll just uh, do the modulus graph straight off. So option, numeric, abs, with an X. There, I'll just, there you go, a V-shaped graph. I don't really want it maybe as far down, maybe just down to minus one on the Y. There you go, something like that. So you can use your calculator to do it, can't you? Uh, 3x minus 2, so the graph of 3x minus 2, I would expect to be something like that, crossing at minus 2. So when for, for y equals 3x minus 2, when x is 0, y is minus 2. When y is 0, oops, so we've got 0 is 3x minus 2. If I re rearrange it, I get two thirds for x. So that crosses at two thirds there. So anything below gets reflected above. So the distance is going to be the same, so roughly there. So what I've got is a V shape going that way. There. But you can graph it on the calculator, just see if it's right. Well, that should be a plus two crossing there. So there's two questions for you to have a go at. Um, we make sure you put on where it crosses on the axes. There, but your calculator does it for you, so it's all good. So you can even do the, um, the points where it crosses. So a dotted line is the original graph. There. Right, so it tells here to sketch it with a, the dotted line where it should be, and then the main bit where it isn't, and then reflect it. So this one, you can't really use your calculator because it's x plus a. So same idea, if I think about x plus a, when x is 0, y is a. When y is 0, so I've got 0 is x plus a, so minus a is x. So because it's x plus a, it's got a gradient of 1, hasn't it? Uh, so I'm looking at something which looks like that. So that there is a, that there is minus a. So that's y equals x plus a, where a is positive. And it's positive. So then I need to reflect back up all that bit. There. That's the modulus of x plus a. There. So then for this one, if it's a minus 2x, so if I think about y equals a minus 2x, so when x is 0, oops, can't tell, y is a, when y is 0, x is a half. Now this is really minus 2x plus a. So it's going down. So it's going down like that. So that would be an a. Uh, why have I got that as a minus a? Uh, you donkey. That's going to be an a over 2. Hang on, let me rewrite that. So x is a over 2. There. So that's A over 2. So anything below just gets reflected back up. There. There you go. You get your graph there. Let's have a look on the next page. Not too bad, this is it. So I'm nine minutes now. There's two questions for you, and then I'm going to stop. So if you do the questions for you, make sure you've got them on. There. Okay. Right, we'll stop there for this combinations bit.